Hello everyone, I hope all of you guys are doing well. So today I am going to discuss one very important technique from the book Acing the Art of Answer Writing and this particular technique is going to focus on how to actually do presentation of an answer. So far we have discussed so many things, we have solved questions, we have gone through some different different techniques in our challenge, answer writing challenge that we are doing. Now in this particular today's class I am going to discuss specifically how to increase one or two marks or even three marks sometimes in your question, in your answer that you are writing for UPSC just by improving the presentation of an answer. Now before I go into this techniques of presentation of an answer, I want to tell you one thing. I want to tell you that never compromise on the content of the question. So whenever you are writing an answer, the most important thing that will fetch you marks is going to be the content. Content is the king, content is the most important thing when you are writing any answer. Alright, if the content is not good, if your presentation is very good, you are not going to get marks. Remember that, alright. If anyone, any institute, anyone is teaching you that you have to make diagram in every question, that you have to do this in every question, make diagram, make flowchart, make any kind of a special uh, way of presenting the answer, then you will get marks. That is wrong. The most important thing, the most important thing, yes, the thing you want to watch out is the content. So that is why you have to study, that is why you have to prepare well, so that your can, content comes out to be very well. But after you have prepared the content well, that means that now you are ready for the next step where you have to improve the presentation so that you can get some extra marks and you can stand out. Alright, so that is what I will be discussing with you today. Basically presentation is nothing but how the question looks on the sheet of paper. If you take two answers from UPSC toppers, you know, look at these answers, they are so well presented. This is my answer for example, this is some other toppers answer for example. It is well presented then it will get easily, it will get marks. But if it is not well presented, if it is a very poorly presented answer then obviously the examiner will have a difficulty to check it and that is why your marks might suffer. So obviously the content is very very important but presentation also helps to improve the appeal of your answer, the aesthetic appeal of your answer. What is appeal? Aesthetic appeal basically how it looks and how easy it is for anyone to understand it. So this aesthetic appeal also has to be good. So here I have given 8 main elements of the presentation of the answer for any UPSC aspirant. Spacing of your different words when you are writing, underlining, boxing, boxing of different sentences or words, bolding, you know you can underline or you can write in, uh, you can just kind of use some other pen to bold it. You can use handwriting, uh, good handwriting obviously that is very important. Writing in points, drawing various tables and drawing various diagrams, flowcharts or maps. These are the very basic concepts, beyond this you don't need to go. Because there is only scope of writing 150 to 250 words in every answer and within these you can only focus so much on presentation, you can only spend so much time, limited amount of time on presentation, alright. So that is why I always say that once you have understood these, applied these and you are getting them right, then move ahead to improve the content, okay. Now here I have given the same things that uh, you have to don't overthink these points, you have to just try to inculcate them in your answer I think. If you overthink these points, then you are going to waste a lot of time. Sorry for those who will feel bad I am using pen on the book, but that way you will be able to understand it better, alright. So, Average handwriting is also fine, average diagrams are also fine, using pen to make diagrams is also fine, using pen to make because you don't have time. So the examiners understand that and I don't think there is a hard and fast rule when it comes to that, alright. So now let me tell you about little about spacing, spacing is nothing when there is a proper spacing between the words so that it is easy to read them. See here the spacing of this particular topper, Radhika Gupta is very good because they have given enough spacing, it is easy to understand their particular answer. Same thing with underwriting, it is important to underline the keywords. See I will emphasize this keywords. Always underline most important keywords of the answer. If the question is asking you something, 
where you need to show those particular keywords it is important to underline those keywords so for example here the question is asking though it is it had its achievements the exclusion of indians from the system was a key feature of judicial reforms introduced by cornwallis so the question is about cornwallis cornwallis's judicial reforms and exclusion of indians from that okay this was the key feature so here she is underlining keywords like sovereignty of law it deprived the collector of his judicial functions you know it mechanisms for civil and criminal offenses it set up different courts etc so these are the keywords obviously right sovereignty of law civil and universal offenses uh, judicial functions of the collector so these are the most important keywords i'm not going into the content i'm just going into the keywords from this particular answer and she has underlined them so that quickly the examiner can understand and it looks good in presentation ab ye try karna don't underline everything lot of students have seen they underline everything you have to underline only the most important things only the most important things only the most important keywords like they have been underlined here all right next technique that you can use is boxing this is very very important and this is used to generally box the super keywords or the headings subheadings all right which have very high value in the answer so for example here a subheading she has boxed here radhika gupta which is very good way to under uh, highlight similarly here if you see all right here if you see the cause of revolutionary movement which is a uh, basically a subheading it is boxed so this separates the uh, different parts of the question the introduction is separated from the body and that is why it is so so useful so i would recommend that you guys can also uh, use this particular technique i used it very much in my answers which i think really helps all right nothing more than that to understand really then you can use capital letters i used to use capital letters in my subheadings or where there are important points that i wanted to make or keywords i wanted to show jaise yahan pe i have used it for economic potential right here uh, i boxed see i boxed it so that is also something you can do here i have used it for methodological problems because these are the parts of the question and that's why i am highlighting the super keywords which are very very important through a box or highlighting Uh, them through uh, capital letters or through boxing all right so aise bhi aap use kar sakte ho so this will obviously help the examiner to see and uh, that your communication skills are good you write well you write clearly there is structure and logic in your thinking right so that is what you have to show because mains answers are subjective type these are not objective type so you have to enhance the quality of the content through presentation but don't overdo it like i always say is pe jyada time mat nikalna ye easily this is easy to know and understand content is hard to know and understand and analyze and learn how to write that and this is what this book is trying to do obviously right now here again i have shown the use of a diagram and boxes here the box list so look at the boxes and here marshall plan has been discussed sorry this is very small so it can be not seen and the uh, the answer presented by the student actually goes ahead in defining the marshall plan and in actually making it of diagram to show how the marshall plan was uh, not exactly the marshall plan but how the countries of the marshall plan you could roughly identify on the map of europe so this provides a clarity to the examiner that the student actually knows about the question and the content is also pretty good then writing in points versus paragraph now this i have always thought is a personal choice A lot of students have asked me this, and uh, they get confused because same coaching institute would tell them to write in points also and to write them in paragraph also. Everyone has a different kind of a preference. But what I would say is that personally, I always used to write writing in points because it is easier for you also to write in points. It, it is easier for you to also organize your entire writing and thinking, and it is easier for the examiner to check. Now, if you are really good at writing in paragraph. and if you can write good content in uh, paragraph you can also write so here is one um, from a topper where it is written in paragraph but that does not mean that this particular topper might have got very high marks in this particular answer that only depends on the content 
right so go ahead and choose what you prefer to write whether you write like to write in paragraphs or points i would personally go for points but if you are good at writing in paragraph if your content is good you will still get marks i suggest that if you write in paragraphs write in short short paragraphs okay write in short paragraphs instead of very long block paragraphs don't fill the entire page with one paragraph write in short short paragraph so that three four paragraphs come in one page so that also you can do so personally i would prefer points over paragraphs as simple as that here see another example i will show you here it is about uh, basically the uh, question is about the uh, influence of drugs on the youth of india so the particular uh, as uh, writer the uh, the topper has shown the hotspots of drug abuse in india drug use and abuse in india and the golden crescent you know uh, pakistan afghanistan etc and here the map and shown the different parts of india where this is there and the golden triangle also right so this is good this is how you show on the based on the demand of the question kahin bhi nahi banana hai map you can't just draw a map anywhere right now let's go ahead well handwriting what is the role of handwriting in the kind of pen you use i always use this univol pen it is very simple easy to use and it is very effective you can use any pen jo aapko acha lagta hai wo use karo paper pe acha dikhna chahiye saaf dikhna chahiye it should be clear on the paper all right handwriting like i said practice enough to make the handwriting clear enough it doesn't need to be more than that and english language proficiency it has to be just basic english which is good enough to understand basic english which is good enough to understand you don't require to be a professor of english you just have to write and showcase your thought and logic easily that flows in the paper none of these toppers are obviously you know kind of none of these toppers have done uh, english honors probably right they have just learned english in their school or in their college and they are just writing lot of them are engineers they just writing in basic english even my answers if you see they are written in very very basic english so my uh, suggestion to all those who struggle a little bit of with english is and finding it hard is practice it a little bit learn it there are some really good english youtube channels where you can learn and within 2 3 months you can make your english at such standard that you can just write it very easily and it will flow that is why i always try to show tell ki basic mistakes nahi karni hai basic grammatical mistakes nahi karni hai aur basic agar english likhne aate hai to you will do well now let us see use of diagrams tape uh, various tables arrows mind maps etc right this thing is also very very important here see i have drawn a very very basic diagram to showcase that see whenever there is a geography question i think most of the geography questions will be accompanied by some sort of a diagram you can just learn how to make a diagram of the world of india i always just make a very basic diagram of india obviously it is not to scale it is not clear clearly demarcated but it is a rough diagram so that it can show the uh, the way in which you can draw the diagram of india i have added sri lanka also and don't forget andaman and the lakshadweep islands very basic you just learn this do some practice some people even make it in blocks you know some people learn to make it like in this block system so that it is easier for to, them to make you know otherwise it is harder to make right so aise blocks mein sikh sakte ho simple line aise do thoda sa practice you can do and you can learn you can even learn how to make north america by just simply doing this and making south america like this like here i have made so here the question is about the circum pacific belt and the circum pacific zone so i have made simple diagram asia aise line bana ke dikha diya asia mark kar diya australia aise chhota sa block hai you know australia north america south america and shown the circum pacific belt around it so how difficult is that and it enhances your answer it gives a lot of one or two points marks easily you will get or right, similarly here lift valley so this is very unique way to show a very simple block diagram you know host mountains rift valley dikha diya simple this topper has made a very simple rift valley diagram just through the basic knowledge that they have so you don't need to have amazing drawing skills in order to get good marks in upsc what matters is you should have good content good relevant content supported by some diagrams wherever needed so most geography questions you will need okay see here also they have made very simple diagram of africa 
showing the rift valley very very simple easy usko rectangular aise they have surrounded it so it has become easier to see also all right so all this information i have given here now this is one thing i saw recently uh, by one of the toppers which i liked that they would use these arrows to showcase points now this is nothing i could have just written it like this also 1 2 3 Four, five. ऐसे भी लिख सकता था right? Instead of these arrows, same thing. It would have been still correct because the content is there. Content is king, like I said. But to make it a little attractive, but to break the monotony of the paper, they have just drawn the line and just shown the arrows. Looks good. Content is most important. Line से points में लिखते हैं ऐसे या फिर ऐसे arrows लगा के लिखते हैं उससे कुछ फर्क नहीं पड़ता. That is a personal preference. Use box. See, they are using box. They are using underlines at the right place. so that is what is more important see here the same answer continues but with points so doesn't change anything content is the most important part like i said aur is tarah se aap ya fir is tarah se arrows use kar rahe hain yahan pe instead of points this is just way of presentation of an answer and through this particular chapter you can learn it in depth you can learn all the aspects of presentation of an answer so that you know exactly what you have to do when you are presenting your answer all right so i think i have covered most of the parts of presentation of an answer now you should go ahead and i challenge you to write an answer from geography and show me the presentation all right so here uh, i can share with you a question this is paper number 4 of 2021 paper number 1 pe jate hain जनरल स्टडीज पेपर नंबर वन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन एंड गो अहेड एंड आंसर द क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन फ्रॉम टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन जी एस वन मैंशन द ग्लोबल अकरेंस ऑफ वोलकैनिक इराप्शन इन ट्वेंटी वन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन एंड देर इम्पैक्ट ऑन रीजनल इन्वायरमेंट ओके हियर आंसर द क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट डोंट वरी अबाउट द डायग्राम डोंट वरी मोर अबाउट द कॉन्टेंट एंड देन show me if you can use a diagram here or not okay that is what i'm looking for all right take care bye bye and i hope you have fun in answering this question through this challenge and let me know if you have any problems or questions happy to answer them take care bye bye